Hello people, welcome back again to my class and in today's class we'll learn how I made the crinoline flower. You can see how beautiful it looks. So we'll learn and before then please go ahead to subscribe to my channel, like my videos if you enjoy my tutorials. I welcome you all in today's class. So the three major materials I'll be using is this crinoline. You can use this small size or the big one. So then I have my millinery wire. This is the gold type that is flexible. Then I have this uh, jewelry wire that you use for your big one. So these are the three major materials I'm using. So let's go ahead to cut the measurement for my crinoline. And I'm using three and a half inches, 3.5 inches. So right now I will cut it into six places. Okay, for this tutorial, I will cut it into six places to form my crinoline design. If you are new to my channel, my name is Naladan. This is Nikki Collection Channel. You are you are highly welcome here and to all my subscribers. I appreciate you all. I create content on how to make your headdress and your headwear design. So if you love my content, please go ahead to like, subscribe to my channel, and you can recommend this channel to your millionaire friends and family. Alright? Thank you all for joining me today's vlog. So I'm just going ahead to post the 3.5 inches for my green on it and I measured it out into six places. Okay. So right now what I'm going to be doing there is to measure out my wire and this is the jewelry wire, not the ordinary wire. So length I'll be using here will be up to six inches. Remember that the cream only is 3.5. So I'm just going to be using as the length. My length of wire will be uh, longer than that of the cream only. So I'm using six inches and, and I'm also going to go ahead to cut it into six because my crinoline that I've already cut out is six so this wire will also be six and this is the jewelry wire the one you use for your beadwork I think this is 0 0.9 0 0.9 mm so that is it and then this is for the millinery wire and I use up to length of 15 inches this is the millinery wire okay you can see that this uh, design is in two places so i will go ahead to show you how you can create it you can now create as many possible as you want so next step is to wrap my wires with my sewing tray this is the normal sewing tray you know. so i'm just going to cut them cut it out then use it to wrap my wire if you have beautiful trimmings, I, rec I highly recommend this is just for studio's sake. I'm feeling I'm crafting it for my customers and for myself. I'm just going to be using something more beautiful like trimmings to wrap. Okay? So, before you wrap, you can apply some glue and then go ahead to wrap. That glue will help it to stick. If at the end of the wrapping you notice that you have some new stains, you can go ahead to use your spray, like your, your spray paint to, to clear off the or to cover up those stains. Alright? So I've done wrapping. Now watch how I'm going to be fixing it on my middle. So you pay attention and see what I do here.
okay guys i hope you are following i simply placed those jewelry wires that have already wrapped at the midpoint of my twin that is simply what i did here and i'm also going to tie it and when i'm done doing that i will show you you tie two ends guys i've already tied the upper part now i'm tying the down part okay and while doing this you will notice that your jewelry wire is longer than the table and that is how it's supposed to be so you keep watching if you find value in my videos don't forget to hit the thumbs up give me that like button okay if you are yet to subscribe to my channel you can go ahead to do that so that you stay updated once i drop my tutorials okay thank you for watching so let's continue can you see what i have already done now with the help of that uh, jewelry wire in between you can easily twist it to any form you want you want it curved if you want it flat that is what that jewelry wire in between will help you achieve so let's go ahead to repeat it for the remaining two for this tutorial i want to show you how you can create this with three leaves with this you can create as many flowers as possible okay so keep watching and i hope you enjoy the tutorial okay guys so can you see my my leaf the quinoline flowers or the leaf can you see that so i'm going to be creating my design with just this tree okay so one thing more is that i want to create some beadwork i've already have videos where i explained how you can achieve this you can look through my channel you'll find as many videos as possible but meanwhile i will also show you how to do it you simply insert your base into your wire then you leave some space and then twist so that is simply how you can create the big design okay I will also use it to style this very pretty design. Okay, so keep watching if you find that please give me that like, hit the like button. Okay guys, this is the finished work, so let's go ahead to couple all my designs of the millinery wire. This is where the millinery wire comes in, so I'm going to be placing all my design and couple it to achieve the beautiful millinery flower. So with the help of this tutorial, I know you can now recreate the second part, because if you look at the fascinator sample, it was created into two so i hope now right now that you can recreate this beautiful design for the other parts but if you have any question at all please leave it in the comment section and i will respond to you thank you for sticking with this channel so let's go ahead to continue 